Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Deb Chanel's 48th World. Get into it. TMZ has just broke out a news story that came across my feed, and I'm liking it. I'm sure if you all are past or present or currently still loving on Eddie Murphy and the Coming to a Miracle sequel they're going to be doing, all right? Yes, Coming to a Miracle 2 is being filmed in none other than... Black Hollywood, Atlanta. That's pretty much why it done deemed us because it seems with Tyler Perry buying up property, running around here, and all these other down low, low key professionals coming here filming, you know, it's just becoming to be like the mecca of baby Hollywood. You know, California had it for a very, very long time, but it seems like a lot of the film industry people. Or just congregating here in the big ATL. And we got movie stars coming here. Taking up residencies. Or buying second or third homes here in Atlanta. And all this doggone traffic they bringing with them. Is a strict hot mess. Okay. It's messing us up from Monday through Sunday. Okay. We got rush hour traffic from Monday through Sunday. And when I first started noticing it, it was back in 2011. And it, whoo, child, it done tripled the capacity up here. You can't even move with the traffic between the hours of 9 to 11 from 12, 30, no, 12 to probably about 4 in the afternoon. And then you got the rush hour traffic of people coming home from work. It's a hot mess, and I'm truly telling you, it's from Monday through Sunday, like it, like this. It used to just be five days a week, Monday through Friday, but no, honey, baby, uh-uh. Traffic is horrendous, horrific here in Atlanta, and I think it has a lot to do with people relocating from other areas um, of the world and coming here for major stardom, okay? Anyway, moving on from that uh, we got TMZ, like I said, they broke a story on Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall uh, coming to uh, America 2, filming it here in Atlanta. Yes, they hit the ATL pavement streets, like they be saying, New York, something. Alicia Keys and um, Jay-Z went up there and made that concrete tomato something. Y'all know. All hell to New York. Now it's all hell to Atlanta. Okay, Atlanta, Georgia, where the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise is here. Oh, Tyler Perry is here. Um, shoot, we don't have the Super Bowl here. We don't have it here. Hosted here. We had the Olympics here. Oh, just so much, so much, so little time to prepare for all the people. Coming up here, trying to migrate and navigate through the streets of Atlanta. Okay, just too much. But anyway, we got the story from TMZ. They don't really give us of what journalists uh, brought the story out. I guess we'll say staffer of TMZ. TMZ, and we're gonna give the title that they gave us: Eddie Murphy on a Center of Hall, Prince Akeem's back. Let's shoot this sequel. Okay, it dropped today around uh, 9.19 Pacific Standard Time Zone. It goes in to read, Prince Akeem is back on American soil and he's ready to get back to work. Eddie Murphy's just arrived in the dirty south to start shooting Coming to America 2. Now, I don't think America, Coming to America 1 was shot here. I want to say it was up in maybe Chicago or something like that. I'm not really sure, but it was somewhere cold. And, you know, we, we, we ain't cold down here. So, I don't know if they just trying to stay down here until the fall creep in. Because we're in the dead hot season, okay? Where it is tremendously hot in Georgia, okay? With no let up for the get up. So, that's kind of strange uh, that they're doing it here. But maybe they just want another scenery. So, I hope they don't be wearing all that heavy stuff. But they're going to need some definite fans, air conditioners for all those minks and... and Heavy leather things they wear on their backs, showing their, their royalty and all that that they had basically um, coming to America one. Okay, um, 
Getting back to the article, it says the prince isn't traveling alone. He got his trusty sidekick with him because Arsenio Hall has hopped off the plane in Georgia where filming for the highly anticipated sequel is about to go down. Now, if I, just my sidebar, if I hear anything or where they're taping, uh, I'll let you guys know, okay? But usually they even have like calls for extra actors to come to just like be in the background and stuff. They usually um, hit the news stations as well as the radio stations to t tell people where to go if they want to be extras on set or whatnot. Because they do a lot of that with Tyler Perry's new productions he's bringing out. Okay, going back to the article, it says, as you know, Eddie Murphy and Arsenio Hall are co-starring in the film. And they're bringing tons of original cast members back with them, such as James Earl Jones, Jane, John Amos. And I'm glad to see he's still working and able to work. That's, uh, you know, good times, man. The father, James Evans. Y'all know him. Okay. And he got Cherie Headley, Vanessa Bell Calloway, and Paul Bate, to name a few. Okay. It's been three decades, 30 years. Wow. Doesn't seem like that long, but okay. Uh, since Prince Akeem first came to America and started working at a burger spot. So it's pretty exciting to see Eddie and Arsenio coming back for seconds. The fans have been hungry for more and Eddie's about to deliver. Okay, they haven't signed on Michael Blankson yet. We're guessing he's planning his royal entrance. I don't know who Black Michael Blackson is, but I'll Google him and I'll put a little picture in there of him. Uh, surrounded with the other main cast members that are joining Eddie back in his new venture of bringing back coming to America. Okay, and it's almost like he's starting over because he's supposed to be doing a lot of stand-up comedy uh, ventures as well. So he took his hiatus for a very long time. I can't recall because it seems like I just stopped seeing him when 2000 came in. So, you know, it pretty much is what it is. I'm glad to see he's out and about trying to get his hustle back on. Maybe the money is basically um, dwindling a little. But all those 10 kids he got, I'm sure it is. And how he's trying to basically take care of them as well. And their financial endeavors where he can because he's the dad. That's what he's supposed to do. He's the provider. So he's supposed to help out his kids, okay? Not give them everything, but give them most of the uh, tools that they're going to need and half of that is financial and people that he could uh, excuse me call on for favors as such you know get their foots in the door in other words and then let their own abilities speak for them okay that's what we all want for our kids if we got it you know we're going to do it we're going to give them that head start of, uh, amongst other people that don't have those um uh, what do you call it? Um, oh, I just lost my train of thought. Those passes or free passes or, you know, uh, relationships you have with people in the industry that you can get a one up on somebody that don't have those connections, those contacts. That's what I meant to say. OK, but y'all enjoy y'all day. Just had to get that video out. We'll be going to see it. I probably won't be like the ones that have to go once it hits the box office. I ain't one of those kind of people. I can wait you out for about two, three weeks, hell, even a month. But I do plan to give him my little dollars on his little show or movie. Hopefully it blows up for him so everybody can prosper and get they, you know, coin. But I'm sure the heavy hitters in this uh, sequel, they probably already got promised a certain amount of money and definitely has gotten paid you know, if it wasn't even but a down payment. But I'm pretty sure Eddie Murphy cool. You know, too many people ain't going to make no movie with you unless they feel the cast is strong enough and people are, are wanting to go see it, meaning they have a viable product that's out there that consumers want to participate in. So I'm pretty sure everybody got their money that's like heavy hitters, uh, like Wesley Snipes, Jane Amison, um, um, and other, you know, royalty type people that's been in the business for a very long time. Okay. But that's all I have for this particular video. I am going to bed after I put this one up. And I'll see y'all next video time. Whenever I bring one out. You know it's going to probably be again sometime Saturday. Uh, but I do have company coming out of town. So. Whew. 
I need to get my butt in the bed and be able to receive them because I know they're going to be knocking on my door probably about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning, okay? When I need to be sleeping till 12 noon, okay? But they family, got to get up for them, love them to death, you know what I'm saying? But I see y'all definitely will catch y'all again. If not Saturday, I will uh, holler at you Sunday for another video, okay? Be blessed. Take care.